once, long time ago. Yeah, I was like a, a moon blade. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And way last we left off at present, Arenicus is trying to drain out Terry's divine essence for some nefarious scheme. We really don't want him to do that, as we probably need that divine essence to live. So let's go about trying to stop him, eh? The only lead that we have is that Emoin, if it is Emoin, has told us to find her inside. She's probably referring not to going within the walls of Candlekeep here themselves, but within the building in the centre of Candlekeep, the library. But before we do that, let's check out the rest of our party, who are hanging out over here. Most of them can't be interacted with, Jacques. but for some reason Vaconia and Hexat can be. I could tell because they were moving. These two are completely stationary. Yes, it is. There's not much we can do with them, however, as they are trapped in this area. If we send Vaconia this way, she'll get stuck around about here. It may look like we can get past here, but the game won't let us. As for this way, we get stuck in an even more silly place as we can't go further than here. We could definitely walk around this and get to where Terry is, but the game, again, isn't going to let us. Also, this stuff was on the inside of the walls of Candlekeep, but here, it's on the outside. The peculiarities of a dreamscape, eh? Hmm. Looks like it's going to be just Terry and Lilacore that have to deal with this. I'm glad you're here, Lilacore. You've always been a stalwart companion. A bloodthirsty one, but ever loyal. We can walk over to here and fail to get over there. Let's keep walking around the perimeter and make sure that we don't trip and fall into the oblivion of stars that surround us. Trust me, we'll be falling for a very long time and we'd have to reload the game. We're not going to be fortunate enough to fall and then land back exactly where we are. Oblivions of stars in dreamscapes tend not to work like that. Or do they? One thing's for sure, I'm not going to fall and find out. The game won't let me for a start. There are two ways into Candlekeep here. There is the front entrance and this back entrance here. We're probably going to be using the back entrance. There's also somebody to interact with in this uh, outer area of Candlekeep, but we want to avoid doing so for now. It's a dangerous interaction. There are very many dangerous things in the mindscape of a child of Baal. There's also lava here! Now, if memory serves, Candlekeep didn't have lots of lava. It does this time, though. Let's find the front entrance. Here is the front entrance. And guarding it is a demon. Let's save before we talk to the demon. There's not going to be combat here. But there's going to be a sacrifice that must be made. The path is to Bacor, the depths of your soul. Only through sacrifice can you achieve such insight. Do you give of yourself that you will know yourself? Do you let go of what you are that you might see from a distance? Choose what you will sacrifice to know yourself, to walk within. Give of your health, your mind, your wits, or your youth. These choices determine what stat you lose to get into this place. And you have to lose something. Because if you try not to, I give nothing. You ask too much of me. Then the door holds fast, for you would do more damage stumbling through than any outside force another could muster. You can't get in. And the conversation repeats. This path is to the core. The depths of your... Oh, we've already spoken. Yes, we have. Then let's get to the point. Give of your health, your mind, your wits, or your youth. If you select this one, you lose some calm. If you select this one, you lose intelligence. This is wisdom, and this is charisma. The game's not gonna let you sacrifice strength or dexterity, though. And out of all of these things... We're going to sacrifice some wisdom. I give of my wits and the wisdom I have learned. 
Then you shall come to know yourself through your mistakes, when you undoubtedly falter with foolishness. A fool can learn much that a scholar does not see. You shall know more of yourself through what you have lost, a gesture of your intent within. Pass as you should, and do not fear what comes. We can go in. We have lost one point of wisdom. We're down to wisdom 11. Yes, very well. Let's go in. And have a look around Whatever a very familiar place. I have to say, the developers of the game got a lot of use out of the interior of Candlekeep. They used it in the first game, and they're using it here. To great effect. Can we go upstairs? No, we can't. We're looking for Emmawin here, and she's not hard to find. And there's nothing that we can examine here. And there she is. I... I can see you there. Wait, and we can win. Emmawin, are you alright? Shh. Before the shadows return to me, I have seen what is to come. One alone cannot fight. Fight what? Together we must battle your instinct. Alone you would fall whether you win or lose. But here in my sight, we can defeat it. Okay. Lead the creature here. Lead it to me. And we shall fight it together. Together. He does not expect us together. But he has shown me how. Go and lead the beast here. It is your only chance. And my last. It's time to find that beast. But first, we'll keep looking around. Because why not? It's not like we're going to find anything, but it's a good opportunity to walk down memory lane and show Lilacor part of the place we grew up in. It's very quiet. Eerily so. Anything more to say? Go and leave the beast here. It is your only chance and my last. Alright then. The beast in question is over here. And you know who it is we're going to face. Fall to your knees. You can do no other. I am within you. I am your essence. Hello, Baal, taking the form of Saravok. How are you? You're probably not in the mood for chit-chat, are you? You wish to battle within me? Catch me if you can. You cannot run from yourself. You cannot defeat yourself. I am the blood. I and the instinct. We'll see about that, Baal. Now you're going to try and fight me. Invincible, I say! That you are, Lilicor. Let's go and head inside. If you don't go and talk to Emma Wynn, this fight is unwinnable. Because you can get a um, Baal here to a tiny amount of health, but you can't deal the killing blow. Baal will follow us into here. Of Won't course. take Baal long to get inside. And all we need to do is lead Baal to here. Now, it is in my sight. I will add my will to yours. He has shown me how to make it vulnerable. Excellent. Let's fight. You wouldn't hurt a lady. We can deal quite a lot of damage to uh, Baal here. Or is it Saravok? Kind of blurs the lines, doesn't it? We probably need to deal a bit more damage. I am your instinct. Yet you deny me? Fight me within your own mind? I should devour you! How do you stand? Terry is just that hardcore, Baal. Did you not know this? Have you not seen it? I sense your soul. It has taken form to guide from within. You are strange among your kin! Well, this strangeness is probably what's going to mean that I live here. So I'm thankful for that. But it... It is weak and will not help again! You are empty inside! There is nothing within but the instinct! That sounds foreboding. Something is wrong. I... No, not again! Not again! Ah! Yep, that doesn't sound good. Well, you are a strong one indeed. You resist beyond all reason. 
The pity you are dead on the inside. Did you notice that little uh, bit of text there? It said, loses all ball powers. They're gone. We'll never get them again, it would seem. For Arenicus has taken them. You cannot turn me against myself. I have strengths you cannot see. I don't know what you faced while mired within the spell, but here in the world of the living, my plans have gone just as I wished. I also give you a lot of experience points, and your friends a lesser amount. I have no idea how they got experience points because they're at a cell, but hey, have experience points. It's not like it's going to matter. I have drained you. Drained you of the very thing that made you special. It is the worst of curses, I should know. What do you intend, Arenicus? What are you up to now? No, you want no villain's exposition from me. You are barely sentient now. I have taken your very divinity and drained you of your soul. Well, you've told us what you've done, and it's quite horrifying. That's something. The curse that was wrought against Bodhi and I has now ceased, and yours has begun. You will wither, you will wane, and you will die. We'll see about that. Bodhi, remove this nothing, and Imowen as well. We are restored at their expense and need them no longer. Our revenge to come is now all the sweeter. As you would have it, my brother. Confirmation that Bodhi and Aranicus have been working together from day one. If you needed it by now. You probably didn't. Of course. See to it as quickly as possible. I will tell our friends in the dark of our coming. We will plan our assault from here. Assault? On where? I bid you farewell, child of Baal. We shall not meet again. Oh, you are so very wrong about that. Also, level ups. And so your life does come to an end. A pity. You have proven resilient beyond all expectation. It is appealing to me. You waste my time. I am not here for your amusement. Oh, but you are. My amusement is all that is keeping you alive. Arenicus wishes you dead, and he is very rarely denied his wishes. Your abilities have piqued my interest, and since you are to die, I would have you do it in an entertaining fashion. Arenicus can be so dour when he wishes. He is set upon revenge for his banishment, and can think of nothing else. A failing of his mind remaining flesh, I suspect. Banishment? From where? Undeath has given me focus, and an interest in the abilities of powerful creatures. An interest in you. I will make your death glorious, as well as entertaining. I will not perform for you. Oh, but you will. You have no choice. You will run the gauntlet, and you will do it on the slim chance that you will make a difference. Do you see this passage before you? It is the darkest part of the asylum and its history. A test of clarity for its prisoners, by a director that delighted in dissecting the mind. Now he is under my influence, and this place is mine to control. It is a masterpiece of madness, one that you will come to know intimately. It has been some time since I've given chase to a worthy foe. Enter the maze of this place and seek an exit. I give you time to run, after which I will come to feed. But you are not running solely for my benefit. I give you a reason as well, to make the hunt more desperate. You may yet foil Aranicus, though the chance is slim. Why are you giving me a chance to foil Aranicus? By foiling Aranicus, I'm foiling you. Why are you doing this? Why are you giving me even the faintest of hopes that I will manage to scupper everything that you're planning? This right here is folly. His plan will take time, just about as long as my hunt. Run my gauntlet and your life ends, or is freed. The hunt begins. Are you alright? I was so scared. You came all this way to get me and we were almost... I'm sorry, Terry. I was just so worried. We survived, but not unscathed. I must know what he did to me. And you. I... I don't know, really. Same thing he did to you, I guess. Since we're... the same? Terry, he showed me what you are and... what I am. 
and then he took it away. I don't know who I am now, Terry. You may not feel it yet, but the spell for me made me feel... hollow. He took something vital. He says it was my divine soul? I find out I'm a child of God, and now I'm empty and dying. You are, too. I'm strong, and I will not waste away. I survived the fight in the dream, didn't I? The dream? Terry, I had no dream during my ritual. Just blackness, and my will draining away. Then who was the Emmerwyn who decided to help me? Questions and no answers. Has this affected you differently than me? You have been dealing with the Baal Essence longer. Perhaps you are more focused. Or perhaps it is more focused upon you. There was a malevolent taint to my dreams. Is there a will behind it, I wonder? I don't know. Dead gods never rest easy. Whatever the cause, our mortal lives should be our first concern. I have been getting weaker, Terry, and it has only been a few days since they performed the ritual on me. If Bodhi was serious about giving us time, getting out of here and getting back to Arenicus may be our only chance at living. If we don't reverse what was done, if we don't restore our souls, we will probably both die. And here's the part that's really gonna suck for you, Emmerwyn. Because you're not joining my team. You're a mage thief, and that's a pretty good combo we could do with another spellcaster. But you're good aligned. So, I'm sorry. But even after all this, after all the effort I've gone to, you're not joining the group. I agree, but there is a problem. I'm sorry, Emmerwyn, but I have no room for you. What? I... I know it has been some time since we travelled together, but am I abandoned so easily? After all of this? I tire of this whining! If it makes this all the faster, I will leave myself and you can take the child! I will fare better than her, surely. I... I might be able to sneak out alone. Possibly. I... I don't know. I'm sorry. Please be careful. I hope we'll meet up again. I... I will try to make it back to... Ath Catler, wasn't it? There's an inn there. The Copper Coronet? I'll try to make it there. I hope we will meet again, Terry. I guess we're sort of... siblings. That we are! But I'm not having you in my party while I make my escape. That's what you want. So let's assess the situation. We don't have our soul anymore. Bodhi is currently hunting us in this labyrinth, and we have the minor problem of Arenicus planning some sort of invasion. It's safe to say I'm that waiting. your step falters, your vision spins, and you feel something is very wrong. For an instant, you are conscious of nothing but the rushing of your blood. The feeling passes, but far too slowly for your liking. You look weak. Do not tell me you are withering already. I thought you stronger than that. It's nothing for you to worry about. I just lost my footing for a moment. That's all. I see. Strange that Emmerwyn seemed to have weathered the ritual better than you. Well, I should like some warning if the condition continues. We need strong leadership through the trials ahead. And if you are not up to it... Don't worry, Vaconia. We'll be fine. Hopefully. And when we come back, folks, we're going to start looking around the labyrinth. This large and very dangerous place. And hopefully we won't find Bodhi as we're looking around, because Bodhi is pretty terrifyingly powerful. We managed to deal a lot of damage to her in the uh, guild that she ran, but she still managed to escape with ease. And now that she has the divine soul of, I imagine, Emowyn, She's going to be even stronger, no doubt. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. We have been in worse situations, but not much worse. I probably put the whole being trapped in the abyss and the uh, being trapped in the planar prison as almost on par with our current predicament. At least here we're on the plane that we were born on, so it's a little easier to get out. Well, as easy as getting out of a magically enhanced labyrinth full of lots of tests and ordeals is. 
We did something sort of similar when we were escaping Candlekeep. That was just full of lightning bolts and doppelgangers. And you remember how difficult the doppelgangers were. Oh, there were so many of them. Way too many. Later. <laughs>